What's up YouTube? How you guys doing? In today's video, I'm going to be going to a pop-up and telling you guys how I plan on taking my brand to the next level. So right now, I'm just waiting for my car to warm up before I actually leave. And uh, it's pretty windy today and uh, we're going to be in Madeira like always. So honestly, really excited for that. So I'm going to let my car warm up so that way I can head out. Alright. I just got here and I don't know where everybody's at. As you can see, there's only a few cars here. Uh, maybe I forgot the time and got here a little early or I got here late. Well, I'm gonna go inside, check it out, see what's up. Bro, <laughs> tell me why I'm a whole ass hour and a half early. I thought the event was at 10, but it's at 11 and I'm here at 9.30. <sighs> Man. This is the second time this happens, but it is what it is. Better, better than better than being lame. All right, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go inside, set up, um, take my time, and yeah. Bag secure. Time to set up. All right, just finished up setting up the rack. Now I'm gonna do the rest of the table. Yes, sir. Looks like we got the setup up and ready to go. Shout out to my friends. Go we'll show them some love. Wait, Makeup what? by Coco. What, where's your card at? I don't have one right now. Makeup by Coco inserted yes. right here. <laughs> All right, so the setup is complete, and as you guys can see, I don't have a Wheel of Fortune, and that's because I feel like that was kind of losing me money in the long run. Uh, I just wanted to get quick sales, because like people love deals. Who doesn't like deals? But instead, I'm gonna try something else. I'm trying. I'm going to try to get like more orders by uh, implementing this thing called. Um, I'm just kidding. I don't know what it's called, but um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey, buy two shirts, you get five dollars off the second one, or buy three, you get ten dollars off. And you know that's kind of that's going to kind of incentivize people to buy more um, because the chance of them buying one versus two is gonna increase dramatically because of the five dollars off. So hopefully my plan works. My goal is to get at least um, 14 sales today because I know I'm not gonna have the wheel of fortune so I'm not gonna be giving away steals and also I wanted to talk about how I plan on taking this business to the moon so the first thing I want to really 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 do I've said this so many times but I've never done it like well I have done it but I haven't like stuck to doing it is advertising like social media advertising in particular Facebook ads and don't get me wrong you've seen me do videos in the past of me trying them and doing them not successfully but i have been trying them this time i'm really going to put my money where my mouth is i'm going to do it for a whole month and see where it goes so far my strategy is um, have a five dollar a day um, for three ad sets so that's fifteen dollars a day and uh, i'm going to let them run for three months obviously if they're underperforming and one's outperforming another i'm going to duplicate that one maybe change up some things and to see which ad set is the best but yeah, that, that is what I'm gonna do. That is my goal. And I think that's really gonna blow me up. And the reason I know this is because I believe in my products. Other people believe, um, you know, I've been selling them consistently. And if I put them in front of the right customer, I know they're gonna be gone and sold out. That's the first step of my plan is to really get myself out there with these ads and put my products in front of the right people. But uh, yeah, this pop-up is about to start. And so I'll hit you guys up when I get my first sale. All right, guys, I'm here with Stephanie Hernandez. She can tell you a little bit about her business. Go for it. Yes, I do have some salsa right here. I have the red and the green. I also make a, a spicier one, but uh, those kind of go fast, you know, because everybody do like the really hot spicy. And then on the other side over here, I do have pumpkin rolls. I only have one left. Uh, I do have banana nut bread. Those sold out quick. Uh, I have oatmeal cookies and then I also have the empanadas with the yams inside. Those are fire, the empanadas? Oh yeah. And then um, <laughs> here's her card guys. If you're interested in any of that, please contact her and go show her some love. Alright, update. Got a couple of sales. So far it's going pretty good. But, so for the second way I plan on growing this massive multi-billion dollar company, 
is to raise my prices. Now as far as how much, don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to be the next Supreme charging $200 for a t-shirt. Should I? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, I plan on raising it five to ten dollars on everything. That's just because, um, like, revenue-wise, I'm gonna be making a lot more. And the more money I make, uh, the closer I'm gonna be to dropping more items. And uh, the closer I'm gonna be to hiring my first employee. My goal next year is to actually hire someone. Um, so if you're looking for a job next year, hit me up. Uh, you know, if you're either a uh, graphic designer or HR or someone to do my taxes and uh, or, or an accountant so uh, yeah I feel like if I keep these low prices yeah sure it's gonna attract a little bit more people and you know maybe a little bit more people are willing to buy but I feel like it, the revenue is not gonna be significant enough for me to you know drop as many drops that I want to do because next year I want to drop a total of 16 drops and that's like basically one and a half no, maybe one and a third drops per month and in order to achieve that I need a lot more money and currently I don't have a loan or anything I just do this straight from the profits that I get from my clothing brand and so yeah I think you know raising my prices is definitely gonna do good for me and it's gonna allow me to grow and do a lot more things and also I feel like my stuff was too cheap for like how much effort and time I put into my products so I definitely need to think about how much time I'm putting into this and what my time is worth so yeah that is definitely um, the second thing I'm gonna do to help grow my business let me know your thoughts in the comments below and uh, yeah hopefully more people start arriving because it's a little dry but you know I still made some money I already made my money back so just waiting to profit right now but uh, yeah I'll get back to you guys when something cool happens Alright, update. We got a little bit more sales. Oh, trying to move this over. But uh, overall, today has been going really, really well. Uh, I sold out of the capsule tees. If you guys don't know, they're the white t shirts. And I think that's the fastest I've ever sold out on a shirt before, which took me like five months to sell out of. So, very blessed, very thankful for that. And uh, also, the next thing that I'm going to do and keep doing to grow my business is definitely these pop-up shops they help out so much um, you know they bring they not only bring me new customers but they bring me um, you know new people to the brand and they bring me new followers they bring me new leads they bring me a lot of connections and that's that's the main reason why I'm able to do all of these pop-ups is because of the connection so definitely gonna keep doing this and if you are a uh, business owner I would suggest going to pop-ups they're gonna help you out so much but we got like 30 minutes left here and uh, hopefully see if we can get a couple more sales before we leave I don't know why but I always like staying because I'm just like how oh, you never know like that that one extra sale could come but I uh, yeah, gonna save for another like 30 minutes then pack up and head out but overall today's going really well and uh, I'll catch you guys in a little bit all right I think we're gonna call it a day at seven items sold, but I gotta start cleaning up because everybody else is basically gone. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get that last minute sell. Like I wish I would have, but that's all good. But anyways, it's time to clean up. All right, okay, and ready to go. All right, the pop up is done. We didn't do the best. That's okay. There wasn't that many people there. But I feel like we did good for the amount of people that went. But anyways, the next thing I plan to do in order to get even bigger is really put more time and effort into my um, social media as well as my website pictures. Because I feel like, you know, those are minor adjustments that can make a huge improvement. So definitely the ROI on that is going to be bigger. Um, right now, I feel like uh, my pictures are pretty okay. I mean, I take all of the pictures. So, you know, definitely working with some photographers would help a lot um, and the same thing goes for my website I do all of the um, editing on them myself and I feel like they're okay but they could definitely be better so you know definitely putting more time into you know my photography skills as well as you know just trying to get better pictures are really gonna help me in the long run I, and I know it's a small adjustment but I think that's definitely gonna help me grow my business all right I just got home and here are the numbers 
So today we did a total of $131.50 in revenue. And if we subtract that from the $30 entry fee, it's $101.50. Now, as far as cost of goods sold, I think it was maybe around like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Don't, don't quote me on it, I really don't know. So that means we had a profit around $50 and the event was for like, was it for four hours? I think yeah I think it was for four hours so I think like ten dollars or twelve dollars and maybe like some minimum wage so overall not bad um, made my money back and some more and uh, yeah really successful and uh, the last thing I plan to do um, in order to you know bring my brand to the next level is really get my logistics down and really get all of my numbers right currently I'm in the process of getting my LLC and in doing that you know I had to figure out information like cost of goods sold um, uh, lead times and you know how much each little thing costs and all that good stuff since I've started doing that I understand how my business is doing I understand what products are doing um, the best I also understand what products make me the most money so definitely I want to understand that more and I know that's gonna help me because it's gonna allow me to know things like what sizes I should get how many of each size what colors people are really into and really understand you know how the business is doing but anyways guys that is going to be the end of the video if you didn't make it this far that probably means you enjoyed the video so feel free to hit that subscribe button I would highly appreciate it and uh, we're like 50 subscribers away from 400 subscribers so hopefully we hit it soon but yeah it's been Adrian and I'm out peace